Hey guys, good morning. So I wanted Ava to have her first, first, her first um, plush animal. And this just came across when I was searching for stuff and they had it available at Kohl's. And it said there's a limited availability at the Kohl's that's um, close to me and nowhere else around here. I don't trust it, so I just ordered for pickup. It was originally ten bucks, and then it's seven dollars. But I got that Kohl's um, discount thingy, Mugi, so it's six something I paid, and plus free shipping because I'm actually gonna pick it up at the store. So I saved a dollar something. So yay! I thought this was really really cute because I just love that saying, "I love you to the moon and back," but it's even more cuter. I love you right up to the moon and back, and I. There's a book that comes with it too. If I see a book at the store, I'll get it too. But I think this is perfect because my mom got me this teddy bear. Because I couldn't remember as a kid in preschool. I think we did this like gift exchange thing. Yeah, um, we did this gift exchange thing. Here's Ava, by the way. She wants to be held for a bit. Same routine every morning. But anyway, yeah, preschool gift exchange thing. Um... I was on Sam's lap, opened the box, I could still remember the wrapping. It was in red, a square box, nothing big, nothing too small. Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody wants to cry. Okay, 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 here. I fed her already, so. Aww. So anyway, somebody was a poopy monster. Came out of nowhere. I literally just changed her 10 15 minutes ago. Yes. She needs to go back to sleep soon. So, yeah, anyway, back to my first uh, plush toy that I can remember story. So, yeah, I can remember the box. Um, Sorry. Preschool, it was in a red box with um, poinsettia prints on it and stripes. Yes. Yes, and Santa was holding me, of course, I had a bunch of teachers in preschool, and the one that was in the Santa outfit, I think her name was Miss Anna, no, Miss Chen or something, she was an Asian chick, yes, they're pretty old by now, like old as fudge, anyway, I opened up, it was a cream colored teddy bear and a snicker bar. That was like the weirdest gift ever, but I remember to this day. And I still have that teddy bear. And there's bird marks in it. I'll show it to you later. It's in one of my um, bags. But yeah, I like to play with fire as a kid. There goes something about me to tell you guys. That I was a crazy kid. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to find something that's meaningful. And that Ava can look back on when she's older. Like, that's my first plush toy. But yeah, I want her... I wanted to get her a gym mat as well, but we'll see first so she can start kicking and stuff. That's probably something my parents will be like, really? But she'll have fun when I go to work and stuff and kick and play. Because she's already kicking and trying to grab things. She's been doing this since day one. Like, this kid is strong. Like, even her neck. It's not wobbly like most babies I've seen, and that's what my parents say too. She's like holding her head up. So, yeah. I'm excited. Yes. I told myself I don't want any toys with my kids because they play with it and they throw it away. But I think a teddy bear will just sit there and chill forever. So it won't be too much in the way or anything. The play gym? Maybe. But it can be full and be under her pack and play and stuff. So it's not a big deal. But yeah. Super excited. And I still want some donuts. I might go get some and leave her here since my stepdad doesn't work on Mondays. So yeah. I hope I get the order before Christmas. So, yeah. I have a tendency to say yeah a lot after each um, sentence or whatever. So, yeah. Alright, see you guys soon. So, like, when you start having kids, you start making sounds and noises and making up songs and stuff. So, every day or I do, like, random things that I usually don't do. And after a while, it catches up on you and the tune is in your head. So, just now, 
is what I was doing. Just say <laughs> So this is the card I was talking about. Um, about the kid I saw on the news that has autism and his mother um, posted some stuff on Facebook and it got on the news that um she wanted people to send him Christmas cards because he gets so excited reading them and just makes him really happy and stuff. So, this is what I wrote. Hello, Caleb. I recently just had a baby. Well, she will be one month old this Friday. Baby Ava and I would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. You have such a wonderful mother. Saw you both in the news. I love your smile and how excited you were to get mail. Hope this brings more smiles. And Christmas tree, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Take care, Caleb. Be strong. Stay healthy. Be good to your mom. Don't ever let anybody make you feel any less. And if they do, it is not true. You are loved, special in God's creation. He loves you too. Be safe to you and mom. You have you have a fan in Columbus. And have a happy new year. Love, Brenda and baby Ava. If anybody wants to send him stuff, I mean, you put the their address on the line on you so if anybody wants to send anything he is in ohio and this is their home address i believe um yeah just send out the word and love so take care and um it feels good doing something like this so yep it's nice it feels good check this out so i went to my november appointment that's when i had baby ava so i did my follow-up and it was like almost the end of November, so basically um, um, they um, added some more stuff on my wick. So I get a chance to get um, the Simlac powder for Ava and they gave me three. So that stuck in my head. So for this month, I went to get some more powder a week ago and I got three thinking that you get only three each month I'm like mm, that's kind of less so then by the time that runs out I have to go buy some more with my own money and then I'm just cleaning up my purse and stuff and look nine nine good stuff I noticed because it's almost the end of December and I could have like missed that and like spent money on it so thank you Jesus like I literally thought you only get three which I thought mm, that goes by quickly that doesn't even last like a week like barely so yeah I'm excited so thank you Jesus yeah I get to eat so this is um, braised chicken with egg um, sometimes um, we put other kind of meats in it but it's mainly chicken um, the most common one is pork and with egg of course or like bamboo shoots and um, I think it might be called adobo. I've seen it in other um, countries as well, but it's very common in Asian cuisine. Um, especially when you just give birth, um, we eat a lot of this with ginger. It helps heal the inside. That makes sense. And leftover egg rolls just heat up in the conventional oven and it stays crispy. But of course, it tastes so much better fresh out from the fryer. And mean rice. I don't eat rice every day like a normal Asian just because. But yeah. My parents do eat rice every day with something different, but yeah, this is like a comfort food for me. So excited. You know how I ordered Ava's little bear this morning? I just got an email confirmation again. It's ready for pickup. Yes. I've been dressed, did all the things I need to do. Never took a nap or went back to sleep or anything. Ava's good. She's sleeping. Went for my stepdad to come back home and my mom to arrive and then... <clears throat> Gonna do my errands. Need to go to the post office for reals. Been trying to get stamps the last few days. Even the days I was out, some stupid shit happens and it doesn't cross my mind and someone annoys me and then I ended up not getting any um, stamps. And then I still haven't, obviously, I still wasn't able to mail the cards to my cousin in Australia. They're gonna get a late ass card. It's gonna get it every year because I'm so bad. Yes, yes, so excited. Oh my god. So anyway, I'm heading to Kohl's right now. Hopefully, the videos are recording my boobs. Because that will be a bad angle, the way I'm sitting. Ooh, There we go. Anyway, so like, I just came from the post office. And, you know, I don't live in such a 
good area and it sucks that certain people represent how bad the area is so you know it's the closest mailbox post office place so that's where I go to turning so I'm in line and this man like in front of me and he took forever and then all of a sudden four or three other people came behind me and he wanted to the left and come back because it was taking forever and yeah this one man was like something I he yelled and walked out and left the box up there for the male lady to work with her stuff but um oh god I'm trying to pay attention so I'm having a hard time talking so um this man was a special and taking forever having deep conversations with the male lady and so was she and then he had to go get like some freaking um right envelope and he got the wrong one went back there and i was like up there down there no down there the one that's dollar 19 and yada 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 and shit she was just like whatever what ifs what ifs and i'm like sighing like breathing heavy huh and then some dude finally came out and then he was standing there like taking sweet time walking from where he was coming from in the back room or some shit and then he was um looking around and then he finally like moved his finger and be like next or something they didn't say next just kind of moved his finger to let me know that it's my turn to go up i'm like what the fuck can you say hi how are you what can i do for you and yeah yeah nope how i didn't say hi Oh, I said, hey, I used to do this, yeah, 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 blah, blah. What the fuck? I hate people with badass customer service. I hate it. I hate it. But I say, hey, Merry Christmas. Blah. Ah! Hang to coast, pick up my little bear. I don't want to say bear. It's a bunny. It's a bunny, so. And it's nice and sunny today, y'all. Look at this weather. Why can't Ohio be like this every single day? I can deal with this with like a little cardigan a pullover and that's it i got flats on and leggings but i'm like i think my sweater is kind of short so it's not covering my ass so i feel weird walking public with my ass showing so i gotta try to pull it down i have a tank top under but we'll see so embarrassing you know how sometimes you have a camel toe and shit i hate shit i've seen a lot of girls with that but you all try to cover the not so um pretty sights yeah I hope my panty lines don't show or whatever, but all my panties that I bought are what panty line free or some shit from JC Penny. <laughs> I am a hot mess. Thank God Abe's not here. Okay. Yeah, so I actually took a nap today. I had probably a sugar coma because I had like two donuts and a full glass of hot chocolate. Three packets to be exact. Oh yeah, I started drinking it yesterday and it just tastes so good. I go through a phase of hot chocolate and then I don't have it for years and years, but I was craving for donuts like I mentioned yesterday and got my fix today. Oh yeah. It was so funny because I haven't been in forever. I've probably been in like twice or whatever with her dad. And of course I get lost. It, it's the city right after my city, but anyway. I went in there, felt weird. Of course, every time I go somewhere that I haven't been to in a long time, I feel weird. So I'm like, go in there, look straight in the in the window where you put all the donuts and stuff. I'm like, dad, dad, dad. And then when I was done, I realized there were more donuts up on the shelf. All I had to do was like, look up. But instead, I just like, looked down because I got so nervous. And up there were all the circle ones, the, I don't know the names, but like they're like ringlets and stuff. And the window was more like the long johns. Is that what you call it? I don't know. I need to learn names of donuts, but damn it. But next time. Oh, yeah. A crinkle or some shit like that. They're so good. And here's baby Ava. I've been spending time with her. She wakes up in the late evening, too. So I chill with her instead of just putting her away and stuff. Because they were saying um, a FaceTime is essential to getting to the baby and having them react to you. And, you know, eye coordination shit like that i don't know but 
she she responds. She stares at me like I'm crazy, making all those funny voices. Like ding 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 ding. Ava 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 Bear Ava Bear. She looks so she hears me sound cray cray. Um, and then I noticed this morning that she developed rashes on her bootay. Um, I had to Google because you always hear about diaper rashes and shit. So I Googled it matched the picture. I'm like. It was first diaper rash, so I was prepared with some Destin. Where is it? Went to my mom too when I left and she gave her a bath, but I just changed her diapers like 10 minutes ago and the rashes were gone. How the hell did bump disappear from morning and it's gone this afternoon? That shit must be some good shit. Literally. Nah. <laughs>